part though look at these lift lines are you single up everybody how you doing Ryan Napton here and holy cow how days do not come this good in May this is totally insane but uh, I'll kick out a couple random tips one uh, last run I saw a snowboarder coming down here pretty hot speed and there's a rope there and he, you know he kind of wheelied over it and made it but uh, that's probably a bad gamble to take on a pow day. Just go slow if you're cutting her over a rope like that. Had his nose sunk down, had something funky happened where his nose sunk down and caught under the rope and his rest of his body went over the rope. That'd have been a bad deal. Uh, I have a friend who got hurt like that real bad years ago. So uh, yeah, be safe but like with that. Also fence lines. Like down there, there's, you know, it's uh, hardly anything's tracked out today, but I often see people getting those last little stashes of powder <laughs> right up against some fence lines. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but how many how many random falls have we all taken on in powder? Do you want to be right next to a fence and in a non-moving object? So be really safe when you're uh, riding right up against some either trees or fence lines like that that aren't going to move. Things that I did right and wrong today. Uh, right. Last night I sipped on a delicious fat tire beer and waxed my board with a temperature appropriate warm wax for this spring. And my board's moving great. Where in the lift lines I heard people complaining about how slow the snow was. So a nice wax scrape and brush. I'll make a tutorial on that eventually. But uh, very important on that was something I did wrong. I did not switch my stance to be shifted towards the back. And you know, I got a big wide board, so it's floating enough anyways. But in hindsight, I wish once I saw that it was eight inches, I wish this morning I would have shifted it back. But oh well, let's go make some more turns. Look at these big wide boards. Just ran into Mike here. How wide's yours? Uh, 32 centimeter waist width. So you said you, you yeah, I saw, <laughs> I just saw him in the lift line and he said, what? Oh yeah, so I just moved my bindings back. Um, I got my board with the powder inserts and the nose on this is massive. How are you liking it for this it, powder? It floats ridiculously well on a yeah, powder day. Not just the width, but yeah, if you set your stance way back using those extra pow inserts, boom. So nice for days like today. I should have day today, but oh well. Mike actually does some kite boarding. Maybe I'll show some of that at the end of this video.
do me a favor and if you like powder, click that like button on this video. It helps with the channel analytics. Uh, but yeah, I cannot get over how good these conditions are for May. So if you uh, have an epic pass, pass and are down in Denver or something, definitely make it up to Breck. It might not be a full on pow day, but the snow conditions are plenty damn good. It's better pow now than December and stuff. So that is just insane. So much snow out here. Everything's covered, not hitting nick and rocks and stumps. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all get in some powder days like this the next year. Um, so much fun. So thank you all for watching. Happy shredding and kapah.